Hello everybody, my name is The Atomic Gamer, and welcome to Minecraft. Today, I've got something special for everyone. So, just doing a little bit of uh, YouTubing, as I usually do in the morning days. And I found a seed that I thought would make a great survival series. Now, if you're wondering, stuff in the inventory already? Buried chip, another village over there. But what I have to show you guys, if I can maneuver my boat, is this. We have a massive lake with an aquifer, and it, it goes up. It is um, insane. This poor village down here, I believe, is either a jungle village or a zombie village. I didn't really explore it at all. I just kind of started up the world, came to that location, and started recording. Okay, it's a normal village. It's a jungle village. But this thing spans way up there. Now, the crazy thing about this is um, the fact that even though these villagers settled on an aquifer and a apparently massive amount. Ooh, some iron there. Coming in handy. Uh, looks like we have a tree here as well. Besides the fact that they settled here, there's a blacksmith. There's a shipwreck up there, and the stronghold is below us somewhere. Looks like we have a farm. We're definitely going to have to work to block up most of the streams coming down. But for now, we should uh, probably light up this area so no... Oh! Well, um... I think that's a treasure chest. We have diamonds now. Okay, that's gonna seem more staged than <coughs> more staged than some of those video fake speedrun videos. Like, Jesus. All right. Um. So it looks like a lot of the villagers in here are just oh my god, trapped on the edge of death apparently. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this is gonna be an absolutely insane video. I hope you all do enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you do. First, we're going to start off planning. Let's see what kind of villagers we got here. We got farmers and everything, so... <gasps> Sorry, I think that was just a... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to work on blocking up a lot of these, um, A lot of these streams, but... First things first, looting this village. At least we'll know we'll, it'll be easy to defend. Put a couple torches down where mobs might spawn. And we're gonna run around and look for chests real quick. I mean, besides the chests, I think that was a buried treasure chest from the ship that's way up there in the clouds. Looks like we got some hay bales here. I'm, I'm looking forward to this series, guys. Um, main reason is I've been needing something different. I've been playing on a single player survival world that I haven't been recording. Good things happen in that world all the time. And I figured that I might as well make the best of uh, the seeds that I was given. Didn't even loot the blacksmith yet. Okay. Hello Mr. Iron Golem. Looks like over here is kind of an island, which is how the village spawned. compass. And I did find clocks in the previous um, shipwreck that I found. Everyone finds. And a cleric. He's probably hiding. Rat bastard. You can probably hear the music in the background. <laughs> Proceeding over here, looks like we have a librarian around somewhere. Now the blacksmith. We got some furnaces here that we can uh, hopefully use. And a chest. Hoo -hoo. Okay. 
It's not a bad chest at all. It's not as good as uh, that one was. Okay, these caves, or aquifer ledges, are probably going to be amazing to find ores and stuff. Let's go ahead and light this up over here. Because, you know mobs, they will spawn wherever the hell they decide they want to. So, let's see. We're going to have to find a house to set up a base camp. Or we're going to have to build one. Which I don't know where I would like to uh, settle while. Because I'd like to settle down here with the villagers. Not over there on like any ledges or anything. Because then I'd have to have a boat to come over here. Actually, what I might do since we're here, I might swim up one of those real quick and see if there's a good housing location up there. I'll quickly collect the city bales. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys after I get up on top. Probably that lower one there. Alright, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get up there. So I made it up here, um, after a little bit of struggling because it is infested with mobs, and there's a skelly boy somewhere over here who decided he was going to shoot me and send me back into the ocean. I also noticed that there is quite a bit of over there. We have a quite a bit of iron to mine up here. Be the best thing is about this. I decided I wanted to settle one of these plots. Oh, that is just death. Okay. Looks like we have another aquifer just above us. Um, okay, we get a pretty good view of the world around here. Let's go ahead and climb this one now. No mobs waiting up here to send me to hell. Okay, so the water here is incredibly broken. Oh, that's a dive, isn't it? Okay, we are up in the clouds here, just about. So it looks like we have to make our way up to that next level. And uh, throughout the series, we'll work on lighting these up, making ladders and platforms to get one to the next. Just so we're not sent off the edge of it. We see more iron. A lot more iron. Oh wow, yeah, it's everywhere. Okay. Next aquifer is right here. It's starting to get dark. Oh, hey, wait a minute. They built up here, and then they just stopped. Um, okay, but now we are well and true above the clouds. Holy crap, I'm old. This is one hell of an aquifer. Okay. Um, I knew the seed was broken, but I didn't know floating ships were a thing. Ye capsized on your boat, lads. I don't think there's a way to get up to this top aquifer without ladders. Um, or vines. But that one is going to have a um, good treasure map in it. I, I believe our only way to get up to this floating island portion is to get onto the ship and, you know, climb to it. But man, oh man, the view. Wow. Okay. 
Toronto bow. Pretty sure my legs would have been broken. Can we see below us? Aquifer bits. And other such stuff. So, on the video that I was watching, he said to turn on experimental features. Maybe that's why it's different from what I've seen. The ship is supposed to be embedded within a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this actually. And the stronghold is supposed to be below us. I'm hoping that the stronghold is below us. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. Okay. thing to do is probably relocate one of these guys here. Put his bed over here in this house. There. Somebody has a roommate now. And we're gonna just take over this little house for a while. this here. Perfect. Yeah, that works. I know we're going to need quite a bit of storage. We also got some iron boots here and a chain mail helmet, which all of this in here for the second beam. Grab. Oh, stop it. There we go. Three of those. And we're going to burn the sticks. So we can make ourselves an iron axe. We're gonna go ahead and chop down this mega tree here. Oh, come on, guys, get a room. You dirty, filthy things. Squidward, come on. Oh, oh my god. You guys are insane. Built different, literally. So, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of this tree getting obliterated into nothingness, and I'll see you guys when it's over. Alrighty. We've reached the top of the tree. And may I say, that this is absolutely nuts. Okay, we're going to get to the logs real quick before this thing like rots away under us, but now another quick end of the time lapse. Alright. So now that we're done taking down the tree, go ahead and collect all of the stuff from it. It's probably gonna rain more down on us here, but Something pretty good going on in this world. Go ahead and grab some more torches here. I did manage to, um, oh, there we go. I don't know what that is down there. It's just pitch black, and it's absolutely terrifying. Crap, we got two stacks of wood from one jungle tree. Mm. I don't know what the odds of that are. That is a massive tree, then. I don't feel bad at all, though. <laughs> Sorry, she didn't need food here eventually. Set her respawn point real quick. Now, 
Now that we've taken care of that tree. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna do for a minute. Oh, we got some bread here actually. So I think um quickly wander around, check everything out again, make sure everything is good. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start climbing and patching all of this up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Uh, comment down below what you want to see happen. Um, yeah, this is just s scary. Like, look at that. S so deep you can't see the bottom. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Stay safe, my guys, and have a good one.